Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown. Welcome social media family to my vlog in the face of embarrassment by way of an apology. And the apology is going out to the Haynes family who has lost a member of their family named Ras Michael Prophet, okay? And my apologies for not being present at the memorial reception event after the, his funeral today. And the reason why that is the case, it is simply because of miscommunication, okay? And the miscommunication was between myself and Buttons from the Dub Asante band, okay? I'm not trying to throw Buttons under the bus or anything like that, it's just how it happened. And I'm gonna explain how it happened. I was approached by Buttons a few days ago and I was asked to perform one of Michael Prophet's songs at the reception that I know that I now know it to be. And I said, of course, yes, I'll do that, not a problem. First question I asked was, where is the event gonna be held? He said, BBMC. Then I asked, where is the rehearsals? BBMC. Okay, that was cool, right? When I was told what song I was going to basically do, I knew the song roughly, but it was just a case of just going on YouTube, looking up the song, listening to the song, knowing the lyrics, performing the song, right? So that was more or less down pat. Um, when Buttons told me that obviously um, when Michael toured with the Asante band, that would be in the set list. So they would have the arrangement pretty much down pat. So it was really just down for me to just learn the lyrics and that was basically it. So I didn't really need to rehearse the track. It would have been nice to rehearse it, but I didn't really feel that I even needed to at that point. Anyway, um, yesterday, Buttons actually phoned me and told me that it wasn't necessary for me to come down to rehearsal and he couldn't come down to rehearsal because he wasn't feeling well. I said, all right, not a problem. I do the YouTube thing, get it all done, Pat. It's, it's not a problem, not a problem. All right, so the day come now, I posted up on Facebook that I, alongside Ras Eldred, Prince Malachi, Little Roy, Anthony Johnson and the, and the Dubber Santi Band, amongst many others, will be performing the hit songs at a special musical memorial tribute by and for the late Ras Michael George Haynes, a.k.a. Michael Prophet, at Theorem Music Complex, a.k.a. BBMC, in 385 High Road, London, NW10 2JR, tonight at approximately 8 o'clock p.m. GMT, after he is laid to rest today, giving thanks for his music, Zion awaits. That quoted was my post. No one apart from Sarah made a hint, basically suggesting that these two things was gonna happen at the same time. But no one told me that the actual thing was going to take place there. I knew there was a reception being held there, but nobody told me that the, the whole musical Dobber Santian Fagan's band and the bagger artist thing and thing and thing was going to take place there. No one corrected me, all right? So when I got there <laughs> at half past seven, as arranged, no one's there. Nobody's there. So I managed to get my sister's phone number from a brethren and I called her and I asked, what's, you know, what go on? She told me that the whole event is basically taking place at the Camden Centre, yada, yada, yada. Blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah, really, really, really. Now, what you have to understand, if I sound a bit anxious, is on the way going to BBMC, it has been driving down and pelting down with rain, right? Real hard. And not only that, there's some people who feel so they can just overtake two lanes of traffic at like 60 miles an hour in the driving rain down the North Circular. When I see them things there, brethren, I don't care. I am not putting my life at risk for some mad people out on road at the end of the day. I can't do it, I'm not going to do it, right? And it doesn't make things any easier when you have a cab driver that's motivated by money and a lack of sense of direction on top of that as well. So forgive me if I seem somewhat anxious right about now, but I just couldn't wait to get here. The plan was to do 
um, to do the tribute and from there go and link up my good brethren bubblers with my 500 gig hard drive and just get a bag of rhythm from him so I can, you know, test drive them and voice them and see what can pop, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, leave and go back some other runnings before I get here. But that wasn't the case because Bubblers wasn't going to get to his yard until nine o'clock. So I'd already planned it from eight o'clock, eight o'clock, pay my respects, do my performance, meet up with my peers, leave there, go to Bubblers, and then from there, so spend time, chin wagging, leave, go to my yard and get certain things done for my gig next week. But that wasn't the case because I had misinformation handed to me. So I just was not going to put myself in a position where there was the possibility of my life even being endangered. Because I have to put it to you right now, it's like, it wasn't pretty on road. It was not pretty on the North Circular right about now. It was like driving rain and people just being frustrated and angry and this and that. And this is a day after people were basically banging on the tube trains wanting to go home at Buckhurst Hill and me having to get off at Buckhurst Hill because somebody committed suicide. The stop before Buckhurst Hill, they literally just jumped onto the train line at Buckhurst Hill, the world, the stop before Buckhurst Hill. So my head is like all over the place right about now. Do you know what I'm saying? So I can only apologize to the Haynes family and I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus by putting blame or apportioning blame. It's just how it was and how it is, okay? So I can only apologize for those who were expecting to see me and I can only apologize for the misinformation that I was giving out based on the misinformation I was given in the first place, okay? Um, because you know with things like funerals and things like that, you know, information kind of filters out and what have you, but I was the only person basically waiting at BBMC at half past seven tonight. So that basically shows you at the end of the day. So all I can say is, Ras Michael Prophet, rest in peace. The Haynes family, I apologize. And I hope that he had a really great send off. I'm not even hoping, I know he has. I know he's had, he has had a great send off. And um, I just wanna just pass on my condolences and may he rest in eternal peace, okay? So that is my way of an apology for, for not appearing and not performing those are the reasons and that is basically it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls brothers and sisters so i wanted to do this before i actually remove the um the posts or in fact no i'm gonna leave the post them on i'm gonna leave the post because that's basically the information that i got so anyway so it's with that I'm gonna bid you guys adieu for now. And as always, you done know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness wherever possible, okay? So until we link up next time, people, stay blessed. Magan.